Hello everyone, welcome to Simon Tools. Today we're gonna do something so excited. It's about the uh, generator. It's uh, this one very regular, common to everyone on the job site. It been fold up from the trucks coming down and squeeze the fuel tanks, damage the um, carby, and broke out the um, housing, the box, the power box and all these frames are bent it got the uh, broken engine mouth so what we do now is try to put the engine mouth and get the uh, second hand boxes tanks from my other old one put in here and uh, make a start we will have to put up the market uh, engine mouth on and uh, melt them on and we have to see if the power working good or we have to replace the power board because a power board like this on the top side you fail buddy you fail for sure so you're not allowed to take this one in the job site okay if it's uh, broken not protection properly leaking water get in and uh, get short and uh, who die i don't know no one die and uh, that's my responsibility to make it uh, looking very safety so now i just straight the anti melt bracket down here a little bit straight them up and try to get my other aftermarket anti melt and mold on and start it up first do full service and start it up first and see what happened and see the power come out if is there any damage to the uh, alternator if it not damage to the alternator very lucky to reconditioning this one alternator the motor it costs you roughly around 800 dollars okay so wish you luck put them on start it up fix the see the power come out if the power output good we are bingo i grab myself five kilo hammer try to straight out the try to straight out the frames the base gotta be level and it's good so and I found myself aftermarket and now so this is very super strong I bought this one up online eBay it's for the Nista the Datsun 200B back in the day for using for the engine mouse so I better put them on so super heavy duty this one done the frames are good now we are Rolling here. So take off the old, take off the old empty mount this side, number 12, and we are trying to light up and make the new uh, new bolt, new hole for the empty mount. Let the side to go. When you lean around the the engine, make sure you take all the oil inside the engine out so you can tilt them around okay one side out this is the housing the holding on the old frame so we no need it or we need just nuts and bolt if we could and uh, we will see in here where else where is our engine mouth see see if this pin See if this pin is long enough to go over there, we are bingo. So this one's not long enough. Not long enough. So we got trouble now. We don't have the bolt that's uh see this one? This one too short, not long enough to reach there. What we do, I do some welding later to make this one longer. Who okay, cares man? We can do some welding. And it's gonna be sit down like this perfectly. So we make the bolt about one centim one centimeter up higher, and we be right, okay? So we have another option to go. We're gonna drill this one, the hole here, same side as this one, so this one can slide on, and we're gonna bolt this one on the bottom and go down like that. See? And it should be alright. We're gonna make the ear. We're gonna make some welding make the ear that stop turning around and just go fit on right like that and we can bolt this one on or 
we can use the um no we can't we can't using this one to go over here so we have to drill to go there this is the key this is the one for holding the uh, the anti melt so too short we have to do some uh, bit of a uh, smart ass modification bigger See if I can get this one go in there. Oh, a little bit tight, man. A little bit tight, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come in, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's a good one. It slide out very well. See, it's gonna slide down like that. It got a little ears how up. Now we put a bit of block tight and bolt them on straight on and you are bingo man you got a bloody bloody good uh, anti melt i don't know how good but it's good good okay and you can bolt them on man see don't like that it's not a to go and i can go sleep it's getting darker now so oh jeez no more for today we come back with you tomorrow Happy New Year! Now we're gonna get this one in. That's another problem. So <clears throat> I don't know how to get them on, man. The trick how to get this one out because you can't get the hammer going here. You got no force to knock this one down to make it tight. So I use myself a another bolt that same side that we go in here and use this one for the hydraulic. See and wait and see and I get my tools okay now you can turn it down it the tighter the better i placed a little bit of uh, spring washer is holding there it help but uh doesn't matter uh, doesn't matter you have it or not okay so let's see i need two hands okay turn it down man okay this one the best the best hydraulic ever you can make and they pull it down. <clears throat> when it comes down to the spring washer, and the spring washer hold it there, and it got a bit up again, make it extra strong. Okay. That's it. See how perfectly they go in, and hard as you could if you want. Okay, that up to you. So you're not wrong there. That's it. That's it all the way. Now you can take it out. <clears throat> Flux that holding the empty mouth and <clears throat> the beautiful go in there perfectly. La 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 la, lock tight, buddy, and light up. And you got two sides exactly the same that is holding the empty mouth for the generator super strong. This one, no wrong, okay, and it never came up again. See, see you tomorrow. Both sides should be look the same. So now I'm gonna put this one down for time being. And tomorrow, we're gonna to put the, this one on the frames. And we're gonna make the new hole where the frames are to sit this one on. And you're not gonna go wrong from there. Still got a bit of oil. I train them away out, but it still got some, but it doesn't matter. So, I don't know what the hell inside here. The alternator was super heavy. Oh well. Nothing to stop me, me.
Bloody hell. It weighs tons. Without that string strap around my back, I cannot lift that in. So now I have to do is light up the back one and light the bolt there and we kaboom. Okay. Very heavy, man. So, for time being, I'm not gonna slide that bolt on, but roughly it's the route there for the bolt there. And all I do is make two new holes there, and I can slide them on perfectly, and I can do whatever I want. Okay, make the mark and make the mark. See if this one cook or tilt it or this one over this side a little bit. Yep. So make sure it's on the middle, on the middle, right there, okay? Now we're gonna make one day, and one day, and we are winning. Two, we're gonna put the two of them on, and we're gonna take the measurement where the um, the um, housing there, and through the hole, so we can put them on. This one out, all I need to be done, now take it out through a hole, Put it back on again. Come on now, buddy. Come on now, buddy. Come on, buddy. <laughs> I can live a thousand ton like this skill. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, we take this one off and uh, we put this one on last. We try to light up the two two bolts where it is the end to mouth first. Now we can insert the engine mouth and this is vibration so you better always keep them with the lock tight okay nothing wrong about the lock tights so it vibration a lot so we better put some lock tights when you put this one on it will stay on the engine mouth forever on the on the engine brack see Stay there forever, never come up. And it's much secure, much stronger than the original one. Okay, next size. Put this one down like that to protection the bolt go down the ground. See? To the other side. And bolt them on. Okay. Okay, we lift the bolt out a little bit longer underneath here. We're gonna drag them in and then uh, we pack it up, slide them on. If you do something heavy by yourself, don't ever try everything stupid, okay? Big thing, you may break your back easily. So, very careful. You gotta be straight, your body, 
their lips up or something. Hey, have you? the bolts, the nuts on both sides and uh, we can lie the two bolts out uh, it's not that hard maybe we can do it one down out of sight okay now Lift the back up, slide down a little bit, Lock on, Keep it this way. Two on, so perfectly. Make sure you light them on, like that, okay? It's on now. Now I'm gonna get to wash, spring washer. Put on a knit and bolt that one on and it should be stay there for me forever. Like the 6 kVA to me. The 8 kVA is bigger. So it's much heavier. So luckily I'm getting too old now. It's alright. Wasn't that bad. Like and push spring washer and you're done okay you are bingo buddy when you do something heavy you be careful by yourself okay don't hurt your back your back is very important I'm happy now right super down now the front one super down and we are happy to go have some breakfast no breakfast yet buddy We got super strong anti melt for generator, unbreakable from the old Dashing 200B anti melt. So really good. This will be good forever for someone who can throw on the chuck, junk it, throw it, chop it, everything you want it. Okay. Now we put oil and take that uh, 
petrol tank, the petrol tank fuck up. The other one put in there and test the generator and then we do service this box and check the power. Make up some make up something like this and put oil on, okay? You can go 2050 or you go 1540. Take a better for the generator, okay? Fix the carby. You see how much they tilt it back here? Because when they falling down they drop it and this one bend and this one bend. So leak the air coming into the carby. All we have to do is take number 10, take all this on up and uh, bend the straight up the carby and clean the carby and then put it back and should be alright. Time for the carby. Patient, okay? Check them out, straight them out, and then you'll be right. Tight. You're smart, man! See how dirty they are. Okay, we do a bit of cleanup. Very dirty too. A lot of shit in there. So clean up before we put them back in. Normally the fuel tank coming down all the way down at direct lab down here. It had a little filter here. But sometimes they fill up and uh, dust get into the copy. And there's a little needle here that can be blocked as well. So you clean them all up and then uh, I put extra filter along here before it go down to the little filter and then when you tie them in make sure the water stay on properly because the old awesome seal around here they very if you not in level the petrol will run out straight away so this one gotta be very straight try to be turn a bit straight them in when it's on you can tie it tight just want to put one there one there uh, put one there any underwear you want man this one go in anyway safety first make sure the petrol not came up so it's not going to caught on fire or anything so gotta be secure 100% for the fuel line okay you don't want them to get caught fire, buddy. The whole factory gotta get caught fire by this little ship would be no good. So. Okay, done. Okay, you want a vibration stop? Vibration? You go over here. Stop it from there. Okay, you can see the fuel filter, see the fuel petrol in here. Now we try to start it up. Choke. And uh, we start it up, lift the power on, petrol go down, turn on the switch. Problem, we have to replace the switch for him too. So the switch stay on there, buddy. Now, switch problem, man. The engine mouth, I have nothing to say, it's super strong ass. And the power's output are good. I test the circuit breaker good. Okay, now I put everything back in the part I am and then fix this box and ready to go. So very simple. That's how you do. Thanks for watching Simon Tools. So that's how I do uh, service and repair drop falling down from the trucks bent the frames broke out all the empty mouth and this is the original mouth they're very soft and shaggy not that strong you see and the fuel tank completely squashed and it's working now all good see ya